Hey there, Hazard the community. It's Ian here. Uh, I wanted to give you a quick demo of the new NFT feature on Hatra Desktop Wallet. Uh, so anyone now can create an NFT directly from our wallet. Um, as with everything we do at Hatter, we wanted to make sure the uh, user experience was super simple and very easy to use. And honestly, I think the uh, the team was able to achieve uh, exactly that. So actually, the first step is uploading uh, the file, the NFT file, to um, immutable storage. So in this case, I'm going to be uploading it to um, IPFS by using this service called Pinata. So the NFT can be like um, a file, like a, an image, an art, um, a video, an audio, a PDF, or uh, a lot of other things. Uh, most popular nowadays is just uh, images or videos. In this case, I'm going to use um, this image, uh, this very cool image that I saw on, this, on Twitter the other day. <laughs> uh, so I, I don't have copyright for this image, but um, so I'll delete it later. Just going to use it for this demo. So first, I um, upload the image, um, and this is going to give me a link. So this is going to be here on the IPFS network with this kind of unique link here. So now I'm gonna use it to also create a metadata file, metadata.json, which has some extra information about this NFT. So I'm gonna create this image. So we have the uh, RFC that describes our standard for NFTs. Uh, you can check on our RFC repository to, to see all the um, all the fields that we have available. So this is already filled out and I'm only gonna fill out here the, uh, the link. Um, IPFS links, they have this format. It's a, a bit different than the uh, HTTPS that we are used for, for uh, the internet, for the web. So this is the link for this image on the IPFS network. So this is my metadata file. Um, I have the name, the description, the file itself, that's that's the art, and some extra attributes. They are kind of optional. Um, so I'm going to save this. And after that, I also have to upload this, this file to IPFS. So, okay. Uploaded. Uh, it's going to give me a link. And now I should just go to uh, Hatter Wallet. Uh, to do the, the rest. So I have this uh, this new menu here, custom token. Well, actually, we already had custom tokens, but we have this new button here, creating an NFT. Um, there's a brief explanation about NFTs and, and deposit and all that. So the link, it's IPF. This is the link for for my uh, the metadata file. What I'm gonna do. In the blockchain, I'm going to store the metadata file and the metadata is going to be linked to the image itself because the metadata has some more information. Um, token name, I'm going to... Obi, token symbol Obi, this is just like uh, any regular tokens. Uh, the amount now, I'm going to just issue 10 of these. Uh, and you can see here that's always an in integer um, number you can't have a decimal with NFTs. Uh, also, I'm not going to create any mint or melt authority, so it means that uh, the final supply for this token is going to be 10. I can neither uh, create any tokens nor destroy uh, any tokens. And here I'm going to see uh, the deposit, the fee, and the total. So basically, the deposit is the same as we have on other tokens. Uh, and the fee here is just because we need to store some information on the blockchain. In this case, we're going to store this string here. And in order to store it, uh, we need this fee. I'm going to show later on the explorer how this is linked on the blockchain and why do we need it. This is going to be used by uh, an UTXO uh, to store uh, the information. And what's interesting here is that this fee is not paid to like any miners or hatcher labs or anyone in the network. It's kind of just... Um, it's not accessible anymore. Even if you melt this token, uh, you're going to get the deposit back, but you're never going to get this fee back. So basically, that's it. All the field, fields filled out. Uh, create and my pen. Uh, proof of work. 
um, just observe here I'm on the uh, testnet this is where I'm creating my uh, NFT um, this is the uh, UID so now I can go back and go to the uh, testnet explorer um, I'm gonna check it out so you can see that uh, it's been created um, you see the link here IPFS this is the link to the metadata file uh, you see that uh, it created with um, 10 units uh, because our regular tokens have um, decimal places. Uh, this is just 10 units, indivisible units. Um, and if I also, th this is where we spent that 0 0.01 HDR, right? And this is not recordable anymore. So this is lost forever. Um, and also we can come here to the uh, token screen where I have all the details, cannot mint, cannot melt. Um, and you see that there's no war here uh, and some other uh, NFTs that we have on the network right now like this one from Catra, you already have the preview directly on our Explorer uh, if you want to do that you just get in touch with our team we're going to analyze your, your NFT make sure it's using an immutable um, immutable uh, file system and then we can proceed and uh, identify this as uh, NFT and this is going to switch actually the uh, supply also is going to show as integer not with any decimals uh, and also it's going to show the preview here uh, one uh, bonus thing here is that we also have this new uh, tab in our in our wallet so if you have you have nfts that have been identified as nfts by our team uh, they're going to show up here so i don't have any right now because the one i just created hasn't been uh, id'd by our team but a mock-up of this page is something like this. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, let us know uh, what NFTs are created.